Welcome to um, Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium. Welcome to the show. So Blog Talk is down again. Um, they're just having some kind of issues, but it's okay because I will have people call into my number uh, this evening and take calls that way. It's my business number. It's the same number you would use if you were wanting to schedule an appointment for a reading. Okay, so we have that done. That's easy enough. We have taken care of that. I have the first two callers lined up. Um, when I say go, the first caller will be Crystal. The second caller will be Nancy. But unfortunately, you guys can only call in one at a time because, you know, there's no place to hold you. You'll just be shoved to voicemail. So for today, um, we're going to do the show just a little bit differently because blog talk is down again. And I want to make sure that I can help as many people as, as possible in the time I have. So we'll get started right away. Please um, don't... Um, don't get scammed. If anybody reaches out to you, it's not me. If you end up on a page that's similar to mine, but isn't, um, isn't mine, please be aware of that. I, I only have this page that I put my shows out on. I don't have any other pages. So please don't be scammed by uh, people, scammers. Don't be scammed by scammers. That's what I would say. Uh, the next thing I would say is um, we're going to go straight into names and then songs, and then I'll start taking callers. So the names are either the name of a loved one on the other side, a um, or your name, or the name of a pet or a place or something like that. The name, if it means something to you, it's your name. The first name is Maurice. Okay, they're not saying it like that. I am saying it like that. <laughs> Maurice. <laughs> the first name is Maurice. The next name is Jonathan. The next name is... Okay. I'm not sure, but I think it's Philippine or Philippian. Either one. If it makes sense to you, then then that's the name. Um, the next name is Mary. The next name is uh, Louise again. Oh my goodness. Did I say Louise yet? Nope, Louise. The next name is, um, but you know what's so funny, you guys? They're showing me Louise, but I see it as, um, like, you know how the bag Louis Vuitton I see it like that, like, I don't know why, but it's Louise. The next name is um, Shirley, Mabel, Edna. Oh, we have some old school names popping up today, don't we? <laughs> um, <laughs> the next name is Rose or Rosa. The next name is Ch chance or Chantley, either way, or both of them. Mm. And then I'm going to do two more names, Marie, and the last name is going to be Joseph. Okay, then we're going to go into songs. Now on Monday, I could barely compose myself doing songs. I hope it's exactly the same today. But um, the song could be the answer to a question that you've had lately, and they're bringing the answer through in a song. The song could also be um, a song your loved one love, you love, you know they love the band, whatever it is. The verse that I sing, the specific verse I sing, could mean something and not the whole song. Okay? Alrighty, I'm only going to do a couple songs today. Um, when blog talk is down, it kind of throws me off in the beginning of the show. And then it takes me a moment to get to really get into like out of my of my my own scatteredness to and get into the show. So the first song is um, uh, 
Well, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing two different songs together. And it's so odd that both of them, both songs are my sister's names and who I think they were literally named after. So my, the first song is Sherry, 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 baby. And then the second song is Sheila, 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 pretty little Sheila. Those two songs are the first two songs coming through. So I, I, <laughs> and I just realized I did both of those songs with so much snark. I don't know why. I don't know why. Okay, then <laughs> I need to adjust my attitude a little bit about the songs, apparently. Um, I, I think I just went nasally because I know I can't sing them. And that was an easy way to play it off. Okay, the next song is um, I uh, Anything by Motley Crue. Motley Crue. Motley Crue. The next song is um, that song, vroom, vroom, Leader of the Pack. It doesn't surprise me that such very, very old songs are coming up since some of the names in the beginning were very, very traditional old school names. So that makes so much sense to me. The next song is... Um, I don't, you know what, I'm just going to tell you what I'm seeing and what I'm hearing. It's not typically a song. I'm just hearing Hank Aaron. Now, if that's a song that I don't know about, I apologize, but I'm just hearing Hank Aaron. Okay. And then Babe Ruth. So possibly somebody up there who really loved Hank Aaron, Babe Ruth, um, they're up there and they're letting, that's your confirmation. I'm going to do two more songs and then we're going to move on to callers. The next song is, <sighs> this song has come through before, I think. Um, Jeremiah was, and I can never get the words right, a, a bullfrog was a good friend of mine. Never understood a word he said, but I helped him drink his Wine, Joy to the World. That's the song. And I know I get that first part wrong, but somebody up there is is singing it. And then the next song is um, the last song. The last song um, is a, a nursery rhyme or a younger. It's Mary, Mary, quite, quite contrary. And that's all I know of that. That's all I'm getting of that. Okay, now we're going to go to callers. Um, so here we go. The first person who is Crystal, you can call in. And again, the call in number, I put it down. I think this is her. Ah, uh, this is Tony. Hey, how are you doing, Miss Tony? Are you Crystal? I'm doing wonderful. I can't complain. How are you? I'm excellent. Thank you so much, love. Love, uh, where are you calling from? I'm coming from North Carolina. Okay, and what's your question today, love? I want to know, will me and Jay reconnect? Uh, we were together for five years, but then we kind of like broke up abruptly. I think due to like some of his family and he, we were living together. Um, he moved back with his sister. And so I was just trying to say like, will we reconnect? Uh, every time we got back together, uh, we was doing like spiritual stuff going to church together, and I got pregnant and I had lost my baby. Uh, but I do have a child, and I was just trying to see, um, will we get back together or okay. what would happen between me and Jay? Okay, so first, I'm really sorry you lost your child, and I'm really sorry about the breakup. And I have to say, you know, people who call into my show. They know I give the truth, even if it hurts, even if the truth yes, isn't the best thing. And I'm going to say this to you, and I hope you understand it. Um, sometimes something happens, and for the person not to think about it, they escape it. 
and the rate the way they escape it is by leaving the situation and i feel like something happened and i don't even know if it was the loss of the baby or something else but something happened that he is trying to escape this could be something with himself okay so uh -huh. oftentimes when this is the case the person even if they come back you can't make it work out unfortunately and that's okay. what i'm getting here even if he comes back i think it's gonna i'm hearing that song too little too late to try again with you i okay. think what's going to happen here is either a he's just going to wait too long before he comes back and you're going to be like with moved on like boot up or something with somebody okay. else or when he comes back he's just he's got you know uh man you know that just too, Ms. Tony, i'm gonna tell you what i hate i married this boy named johnny and you i'm pretty sure you probably pick up on him i really hate that i divorced johnny for jay because johnny was more like me and her was a connection than jay but then johnny didn't never want us to get a divorce at all but then when i divorced him he came home and when he came home he wanted us to get remarried but he started dealing with this girl that got five children and it hurt me to my core because i don't feel like johnny is really happy but i in a way i really want my husband back you know so i don't i don't know if johnny married gonna last forever with this girl or what i'm not really sure i don't know if it was like lessons for me and him you know what happened between us you know so i i don't know okay so here's what i'm gonna say love and i w i want you to really you know if, if sometimes when it people are on the show they don't really get the whole message because um they don't because you know it's the show and you're but you can come back and you can re-listen to it later on tonight. And I really need you to really, I feel like, okay, first, we're only going to talk about Jay because you asked about yeah, Jay. So we're only going to uh -huh. talk about Jay. Um, I, uh -huh. I don't give full readings on the show. I do give private readings and then we can go into Jay and Johnny and Jimmy and Joe and anybody else that you want to. But right now, I'm joking about all the names. I know that those yes, people are in your life. I'm just trying uh -huh. to be a little bit funny. Um, what I'm going to say to you, as far as Jay goes, when Jay, if or when Jay, when Jay tries to come back, because they always come back, it might either have taken too much time or it, he won't put any effort into it. He's just going to show up like, yeah, I'm back. And don't don't accept that. Don't take that because that's not that's not good. Just that, hey, I'm back without really going into and resolving anything or everything. And I feel like Jay is going to be able to sense when you've moved on with someone new and he's going to come back trying to win you back. But he, I, I am going to tell you this. If you take him back, he will leave again. And that's what I have for you, love. So I, my recommendation and your love, your your team's recommendation, your spirit team's recommendation is um, move on. Don't look back. Sometimes things happen for you. This is one of those things that's happening for you. The contract between the two of you, you and Jay, is um, done. It's over. It's served let yourself move forward and move into something brand new okay love okay mm -hmm. thank you so much i hope that okay. was helpful and you have an amazing day you too thank you so much i appreciate it oh, have a good day absolutely my pleasure okay the next person number two i think this is her 
<laughs> you guys are good. I hope this is the next person. This is Tony. It's Nancy. Hey, Nancy. Okay, what's your question, love? Thank you guys for being on it. You guys are so on it. Thank you. Oh, okay, give me, a, give me one little second, Nancy. The next person who gets to call in if they want to is... Um, I know you're on here and you're a regular, I think it's Share Bear. And the number is 414-897-2869, but wait until I hang up with Nancy, otherwise you're just gonna go to voicemail. Okay, Nancy, what's your question for me, love? Okay, I would love a message for my uh, father, Larry, and I never knew him. So I have many, many questions for him. Okay, I can give you a message from him, but the many, many questions we can do in a private session because I allow okay. everybody one thing. So I will make the connection. I'm instantly seeing at one point what I'm seeing, whether this is him or someone he's with, he might be hiding behind this person, but he's he's actually someone who resembles like an Elvis Presley look alike. <laughs> now, I don't know if that's him or somebody he's just standing with, or if he's saying I'm the great imitator. I don't know, but he's here. I and the have first, no idea. <laughs> yeah, the first thing that I'm hearing, if I'm asking him, I'll let you ask him one question, love. What's your question for your father, Larry? Okay, I'm curious if uh, what my mother said about uh, your relationship, was that true, how you left? Okay, thank you for clarifying that. Because at first I was getting some of what she said was true and some of it wasn't. But then when you said how he left and clarified it, I got a yes, how he left. What your mom said about how he left, it's true. And if I'm being more specific, I'm hearing the word exact. So okay. meaning it was exactly true. And he, does he have regrets? Yes. Could he or would he had changed it? He didn't see, I'm just getting this for whatever this is worth for you, love. He didn't see another way or he didn't see a way it could possibly really work out based on a number of different things. Okay, sweetie? Okay. And and Nancy, thank you so much for calling in. I'm really grateful for your call in and taking the time to call in. I hope this was helpful for you. I really do. It was. Thank you so much. You are so, so, so welcome. Thank you. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna tell you a little story. I used my mom is no, my mom has passed on. And I'm gonna tell you guys a funny little well, I thought it was funny. My mother did not. So my older sister Sherry was named after a song. My older brother was named after our father. My younger brother was named after our grandfather. And my younger sister was named after a son. And even after that, when my mom went into it, like she divorced and then went into a relationship with somebody else, the first uh, child was named after a family member. And the second child was also named after a family member from that person's family. And my name is Tony. And I would ask my mom all the time, who, mama, who am I named after? So let me tell you, when my mother passed, do you know what the first question I asked her was? She did not like it when she was dead any more than she liked it when she was alive. Who am I named after? Who's my real dad, mama? <laughs> who's, my, who's my daddy? <laughs> she did not like that question. She gave me the exact same answer. Tony, stop it. <laughs> and we all know what a non-answer means, don't we? <laughs> okay, if you can call in, Share Bear, please call in. Um, I cannot find your question in here. I'll go up a little bit and see if I can find your question. 
just in case you can't call in, here it is. Um, I replied for a job in my company in another department. The recruiter said they have not made decision yet. Do you feel me getting the getting this? You know, I feel like unfortunately, as of right now, I'm getting a no. Could this change? Yes. If the person, I feel like this is you. Let's find out. Hello. Hi, Tony. It's me, Sear Bear. <laughs> my, my dad used to call me that. It was my nickname growing up. <laughs> I love it. So here's the thing. You guys are always on YouTube asking questions. I never get to hear your voices or like do this. So I'm loving this tonight. It's awesome. No, I do call in, Tony, but usually when I have a day off on Mondays, I'll call in. But yes, the nights I usually listen because I'm so tired. You know, I, I just worked all day, but yes, I do call in also. I was going to call in tonight, actually. And then uh, the work. Yeah. That's okay. So, that's okay. so, um, Blog Talk was down Monday and it's down again today. They're wow. having some, they explained it to me in a message. They're just having some um, technical problems. It sounded like they may have been breached, but I don't know. Um, I'm just happy I can use my phone and take, yeah. take people this way. It's just as good. Um, so it's okay. It's, it works this way too. So it's good. Um, I started to answer your question, which was that I feel like as of right this minute, and this is the way I'm going to explain it to you as of this moment, they have someone else in mind for the position. Now, could that change? Yes, absolutely. If the person they have in mind for some reason decides not to take the position, I feel like they're going to come to you. Now, I do feel like though, that if you're doing this move for pay, really think it out because I don't know if it's going to give you everything you're looking for. Okay, so make sure you have all the details with the pay and the benefits. Okay, love? Thank you, but it was a pain because, oh God, I know if I don't get it, I'll keep trying in my company that's all i can do okay so i do feel like now having said that i do feel like sweetie i do feel like there will be another position available that will be perfect for you and i hear within six months but it might be as soon as a month to a month and a half okay okay Thanks. so if this one if this one doesn't pan out, it's because the next one's going to be better, okay? Thank you very much, Tony. I'll yeah. go, but now I'll hop back on YouTube and listen. Okay, okay. thank <laughs> you so much. Absolutely my okay. pleasure, love. Absolutely my pleasure. <laughs> thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thanks for calling in. Okay, so the next person who had a question, and you guys know better than I do as I'm scrolling through, um, please, you can call in 414-897-2869 if you would like to call in and ask a question. That's my business number, and we're just using that tonight because, again, Blog Talk is unfortunately having um, some issues. Uh, Danny, I'm going to answer your question while I'm waiting. Will I be good at being a designer? Yeah, I think you asked me this already, Danny, on another show. And yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. If I didn't answer it and this is the first time you're asking, absolutely. You're going to be spectacular is what I'm hearing. You're going to do, um, I think sometimes you're even going to surprise yourself. Don't hold back. Like, don't be, I don't feel like you would be, but what I'm hearing is don't be afraid to put everything forward. Um, it can be brought, it can be honed down, but you can, like what's, okay, this is the way they're de describing it to me. So please take it the way, um, with whatever you're designing, take it this way. If you're making a cake for somebody, a wedding cake, right? And you're showing them the cake and you've made it three tiers you and they love it you can't add two more tiers after that because they've bought the three tier cake now if you would have shown them a seven tier cake and they would have said we want five tiers 
that would be a little bit different. You can always scale back, but once they they agree to the smaller plan or the, the, the you know what I mean, the scaled down version, it's difficult to sell up. It's always easier to sell down. I don't know what that means, but even in your workplace, whatever you're designing, always go to the, the max because you can always bring it back a little bit. That's what I'm getting for you. And who knows, they might remember that and, and it might work for the next thing, okay? Um, it's easier to take something out rather than put something in. That's just what I'm hearing for you, Danny. I hope that makes sense. I really, truly does do. I hope it I hope it makes sense. I'm leaving it at that. <laughs> okay, you guys. Um, blessed one, I'm gonna do you right now. Um, hi Tony, can you please help me with a form of protection? I'm not sure what's happening around me. You know what? I'm gonna say this, you guys. Yes. Um, first and foremost, it, it, on TikTok are all of my clearings and healings, all of them. And I have ones to, to clear you and your home on there. So find that and pin it and use it every day. It's just as powerful in that 60 second clearing as what I'm going to do. I'm going to start it right now. So you should start to feel it now. And when you hear this, you know it's already starting to work because this is stuff going, I feel it when I clear for other people. That's why in my TikToks half the time I'm like losing my words because, because it's um, uh, it's clearing and I'm feeling it even though. Um, and everything I've done on in those clearings, I've done it on myself first just to see how it feels and what the reaction is and, um, and then I've done it for the video. So please know that. Um, we're gonna start healing, clearing, releasing all that caused this, all that kept this. You know what I'm getting? Um, okay, thank you. I'm doing this for not only you, blessed one, but everybody listening, everybody watching. I feel like you you guys know what a tornado looks like, right? The who of smoke and how a tornado is usually like brown or white or whatever but i'm seeing this as very dark and what i'm seeing blessed one is it's coming in through wherever it's coming in i'm not even going to say it doesn't matter so for you and everybody listening and or watching i'm asking that your spirit team your security team angels whatever you want to call them Go in and pull everything out through any openings. We're just going to call them openings. And pull everything out through any openings and then close and lock it. Um, something happened about a month ago or so. Sometimes my timing is off. I don't track time very well. Um, but something happened approximately about, for some of us, a month or so ago. And it has just been very chaotic and heavy since then. So we're going to continue to pull all of this. And you should feel better. Please post below anything that you are noticing. And if anybody else is noticing anything, please let me know. Um, please uh, share with me if you felt anything or anything like that. Okay, Olga wants to know, Hi, Tony, I just started volunteering at a local hospital. Do you see, find, oh, do you see, yeah, are you gonna find love there? Finding me there. Love finding you there. Okay. Um, yes, you're going to meet. You know, I'm going to tell you something. I, I'm going to phrase this two different ways. There's going to be a lot of love there for you in whatever you're volunteering in. Um, are you going to find your partner, a partner there? 
at the hospital, maybe not at the hospital, but something to do with the hospital. So I'm going to give you a couple of different examples, perhaps on your way to it, from it, or doing something outside of there for it. Um, I feel like you are going to meet somebody, Olga. I feel like this person has the potential to come in within or in about a month and a half. I feel like, is she going to... Is Olga going to meet this person at the hospital? No. That's the second time I got no on that, Olga. I do feel like, however, you're going to meet this person outside. And this is, this is interesting. I'm going to do the math in a second. And, and I hear the word maze. Now, <laughs> this could mean a couple of different things. It could mean, where are we? We're mid-July, so two weeks would be August into September. So that's not Halloween yet. But sometimes, I don't know, sometimes we can be in a fun house maze or maze can mean corn or like a corn maze. I don't know, when I say things, I always try to remind people to stay very open for the word, whatever that might mean. And also we can sometimes feel like we're someplace and we're in a maze, even though it's not technically a maze. So keep that in mind too. But if you are going to like a state fair or a carnival, or anything like that. It doesn't mean you have to be in the maze. It could mean around it or some whatever that means for you. Um, I do feel like you meet this person in an environment that is outdoors. I feel like this person has, I normally don't do this. I'm going to, but it, let, let me be fair to people who ask me this. I get what I get. I get what I get. And I don't get the same thing for everybody. I wish I could get everything for everybody, but your team knows what you need for your answers. I do feel like this person is slender, dark hair, olive skin. Now, I'm going to not give too many details. Now, le let me say this to Olga. Sometimes when I give a description, this could be somebody on the other side helping you find this person. So be open to whomever comes in, or it could even be a friend of the person's. But for some reason, this is the person I'm seeing when we're talking about this. I'm going to tell you the next person coming in or this person coming in in about a month to a month and a half ish is going to be somebody that really helps you progress in your life. So make sure you're out and about. And when I say out and about, like if someone asks you to go someplace, even if you don't want to go, just go. Um, not if you have like a, oh, this is, if you have a bad feeling, don't go. But you need to be out and about and in the public. Okay, that's that's one thing I will say. Hey, Grandma Kitty, how are you? Um, Elizabeth, let's see what Elizabeth has to say. Elizabeth from West Virginia. I was wondering if my husband had any messages for me. We're coming up on his year anniversary. I'm so sorry, Elizabeth. I'm so sorry for your loss. That's so sad. Um, of his death. I tried to get it through on the phone and it kept hanging up. Yeah, blog talks down, Elizabeth. I'm sorry. 
Um, Elizabeth, if you want to call in 414-897-2869, I would love your husband's first name. So help to help me connect. And then also Elizabeth, I'm going to scroll all the way down and wait for your husband's first name in case you don't call in. Hey, Pat, how are you? Uh, Rebecca, um, I am going to ask um, the first thing your husband's saying, and it's it's not weird to me. I understand it. Um, Martin, okay. Can I have the phone number again? Yeah, I, I, I do. I talk so fast. I'm so sorry. 414-897-2869. I'm sorry. I do say that fast like like uh, a little too fast. I'm so sorry, Elizabeth. So the first thing I'm hearing, Elizabeth, oh, first, uh, when you call in, uh, please shut down YouTube for just a second or just turn the volume down on YouTube. Um, and I'll repeat the number one more time. 414-897-2869. Um, is the number to call into tonight. Um, the first thing I'm hearing is toast, just toast. And whatever that means from Martin for you is um, really important for him to share with you. Um, so please know that toast is uh, very, very important to hear. She is. Hey, Elizabeth, how are you? Hey, Tony, how are you doing? Good, 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 good. So I don't know if you heard that when I was saying the word toast. He just keeps saying toast. Oh, you know what? It's so funny. I keep thinking like toast out of a toaster, but it could be like toast, like chinging glasses, like making a toast. Okay. So I don't know what it means, but you, it's, it's for you. I'm not supposed to know what okay. it means it's for you so that's just the first thing i'm hearing that doesn't mean that's the only thing i'm hearing um and then the next thing i'm hearing is hey hey the gang's all here like that song that whatever that means for him um or for you and then the next thing i'm hearing is um that's that it's and these songs, it doesn't mean it's literally the song. Like, hey, hey, the gang's all here could mean he's with everybody right now. Like, the whole gang of loved ones yeah. is around yep. him. That's the yeah, way. He, he, he's had some friends that have passed away. So, you know, I've been hoping that he's, you know, hooked up with them and is hanging around with them and stuff you know yes, absolutely. Right? so that's probably what that means so one of the things i also hear is the name doug now if that's not for oh and as i hear that the the ringing in my ears just completely changed changed pitch now if that's not one of his people or your people it could be for somebody else who's waiting to to get through but i hear also the name doug now he and then the the Ah, I forgot the next song, but that's okay. We'll get back into it. The next thing that I'm hearing from Martin for you is um, it's that it's the verse from the Madonna song. Don't cry for me, Argentina. It just don't cry for me <laughs> is the, the big, the big thing. Don't cry for me. Yeah. I'm okay. And he understands you're crying for your pain and everything you feel you lost from him going. He gets that. He says, I'm not, I'm not insensitive to that. I totally get you're crying because you miss me. But um one of the things he wants to say is it it one of the and so many loved ones from the other side tell me this. It kind of sort of stinks for them because you're crying we we cry because we miss them but they're right there and because the heavier our energy is or the sadder more upset angry we are the less we feel them so the yeah. lighter our energy is 
the more it's congruent with theirs and the more we will feel them and right. the better it is for us. But, you know, we're stuck in our, our sadness. So one of the yeah. things he's saying is lighten up. <laughs> like yeah. he thinks that's so funny right now because like I believe that. That's one of his catchphrases with me. You know. <laughs> you know. I'm happy it is because that's a total confirmation for you. It's a total confirmation. Yeah. And then the next thing that he would want to tell you is there's something coming in next month, meaning the month of August. Is it coming in August? Yes, September, no, August. It's coming okay. in next month. Something's coming in next month for you. And then I hear surprise, surprise. And I can't tell you what it is because surprise, <laughs> it's a surprise. Okay. But something's coming in next month and he says you're just gonna love it but then he starts laughing so I well, I applied for, yeah i applied for a program you know to help me out a little bit you know okay and, um i'll hear something in august right is yeah. when they're gonna be able to tell me if i qualify for this program or not so oh good maybe that's what he's speaking of yeah and he they can't tell me because again he keeps saying surprise it's a surprise okay i will tell you anything that you're working on here is something they are helping you with up there they're not they're saying like um they're not going to leave you stranded. Don't think for a moment they're going to leave you stranded. They won't okay. leave you stranded or empty handed. So if it doesn't come one way, it's going to come another way and keep looking. He wants you to look online also for like um, other programs or federal grants that would be available to you. Yes, see, I have. Okay, yeah, good. I have. Yeah, see, okay. you know, he, um, we moved from one state to another state, right? We were out here for four years and he got sick and died. So I'm like stuck all the way across the country, right? I don't know a soul out here. I, oh. You know, it's like, uh, you know, it's, it's like I'm on the moon, you know, and it's just really hard, I'm you know, so and I struggle every day. So hopefully, you know, things you know start popping or i'm gonna you it's know a, i feel like i'm gonna lose everything yeah no you're not and the other thing i'm hearing again is surprise so there yeah. is something coming in that's going to help you and i'm hearing it's going to help you on all fronts but i can't okay. for whatever reason i'm not being allowed to tell you i do feel like and I, i'm gonna say this to you i do feel like you should go to I don't, I, for whatever this means, like a social service office and. Yeah, that's the people I'm dealing with. Okay. So here's the thing yeah. I want to tell you also, and I don't know, I, I'm going to say this. If I do, I think every state is different, but I'm just being, he's reminding me of this. And if this is what you've already signed up for, okay. But if it's not, I'm going to tell you about it. When your spouse passes, you can collect their social security. Yeah, that's what I'm on now. Okay, good. Our, our widow's benefits. Right? Okay. Now there's a, there are other things and he wants you to keep looking because you're going to find them. And then he's saying, get out and about. Don't uh, waste the time you have in your home okay love yeah yeah see i haven't left the house pretty much in a year yeah <laughs> you, just to go to the store and back yeah much. he's yeah. saying stop that stop that get out get about do even if you have to like just go on a bike and take a bike ride in a safe what you consider to be a safe area by yourself okay. or or get out and sit sit just sit out for a little yeah. bit baby steps until you walk walk until you run but get okay. out and about okay love okay thank you thank you are you. so welcome and, and I, I so appreciate your little things that you put on you know the internet you know your your clearings and everything oh. i mean you know if, if 
sometimes I think if I didn't have those, I wouldn't make it through the day sometimes. Oh, you know? my gosh. I want to thank you for that. No, no. Right? Th thank you for letting me know that. Sometimes, you know, I, I you guys wouldn't even know, like, how much time I spend trying to figure out what will be. It's, it's like I spend a ridiculous amount of time trying to figure out what do people need or want and what's going to be helpful for them that will you know really make a difference or that just yeah. that people want a healing for i really do put so so thank you for that thank you for that because i that is that's one of my little like uh just a thing that i really do care that it is helping your pleasures people. right so, it's one of your yeah. pleasures <laughs> yeah and, and that i don't do that for me i one million percent do that for 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 whomever needs that particular thing so because i know i know life can be overwhelming <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know we have good moments we all have our like really good moments and we all have struggles and we're, tr we're we're going through survival mode and we're trying to make it and if you go to those and i do upload a lot of them onto um youtube but not all of them make it through to youtube for some reason yeah so if, if yeah. people go to TikTok, that's they're just they're all there they're all there yeah i found i just saw you on TikTok not too long ago oh, so i've been excellent. on TikTok doing you too right yeah you, Right, and my saved videos, you have your own little, you know, Tony stuff. <laughs> All your stuff goes into that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. you know, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. Okay, love. Thank you so much for calling in. You're We're going to be praying Thank for you. you. And um, keep watching those and ca come back anytime. Okay, sweetie? I will. I will. I try to catch her as much as possible. <laughs> right. I love that. Thank you so much. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you. Okay, you guys. Um, I want to remind everybody I'm here Monday at noon for 60 minutes and then Wednesday at 7 p.m. for 60 minutes. Both of those times are central time. So you can join, ask questions, call in. Hopefully by Monday, the, um, the, bl the blog talk will be back up. Um, let's see. Uh, hey, Sally, how are you? All is well. Thank you, Sally. Uh, Sally would like to know what month will my boyfriend and I move into our new apartment? Well, Sa Sally, I need to I need to ask you something. Oh, there's a lot of people down here. Uh, did you move in? April because I'm hearing April. So let me know. Um, I scrolled down so I could get your answer. If you did not move in April, I feel like you might be moving into your new apartment like around that April, May time. I don't know why it's going to take so long. I don't know if that's the time frame that you're shooting for or if you're wanting it to be sooner than that, I'm not really sure. But I am getting that April, May time. Now, let me say this. If I check every month, I go August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April. April is the first month that I get a yes on. And when I say May, I get a yes. So that April, May time. I hope that's helpful, Sally. I hope that that, um, that, that really does, does help you love. Uh, thank you, Grandma Kitty. Um, Rebecca has a question, would like to call. Okay, Rebecca, call in 414-897. 2869. Go ahead, Rebecca. I'm waiting for your call. Um, while I'm waiting for your call, I'll just remind everybody I have a program starting on Saturday, the self program. It's six sessions every Saturday. We're going to pick one self area and start healing self esteem, self worth, self confidence, self love self-acceptance here she is 
Hey there, how are you? Good, how are you doing? I'm excellent. Okay, love, how can I help you today? I have a question, Tony. Um, I'm calling from Arizona, sorry. I'm going on a trip and I would like to know if my mother, Raquel, has a message for me for this trip this weekend. Yeah, sorry, okay, like so, so two things come through. And the first one is such a mother thing. Stay safe, stay safe, stay safe. <laughs> okay. That's the first message that comes through. But the next message that comes through is have fun. And then she goes back to, but stay safe. <laughs> so. Okay, thank you. Um, the, the other thing she's saying is you don't need to um, spend a lot to get a lot, or you don't need to spend a lot to have to enjoy it. Um, and that should, she's saying that should make sense to you. Like um, wherever you're going and whatever you're doing, you don't need to spend a lot, just be more tra traditional with it. Does that make sense to you, love? Yeah, yes, yes. Okay, like uh, do the down home or the home thing rather than the out thing all the time because you're gonna enjoy it so much more anyway. Okay. Thank you, Tony. You are so welcome. Is that have fun on your trip and come back on Monday. If you're back by Monday, come back and let us all know how it was. Okay. Yes, I will. Thank uh, you. You are so welcome. Thank you, love. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, love. Okay. Um, Pat Haley. Okay. This may seem like a silly question. It's okay. I don't mind. I love silly questions, if it is a silly one. I just bought secondhand boots. Because I can't, I just, because I just really can't pronounce that first word. I don't even know what that is. Um, I'm sorry. Am I going to eventually regret buying? I can't tell if they fit. Oh, Pat, that's so like me. I can't tell if they fit. <laughs> the leather is so stiff. Um, too small. You know, one thing that I know for a fact you can do with boots or shoes that are leather, that are a little small, is get your foot wet and stick your foot in there. Um, the water will stretch out the leather a little bit and help you out. I have had to do that to many a pair of shoes or boots that were just a little bit tight and um, then they fit perfect. So if you um, just get the, you don't wanna get it too wet, but maybe if you have a thin sock, you can get a little wet and put in there. But I will tell you, uh, getting the leather wet stretches it out a little bit. Don't soak it up. Don't get it too wet. Just enough to mold to your foot and do it a little at a time. Okay, love? That'll help you a great, great deal. Um, uh, la, 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 la. You're welcome, Sally. Uh, Marie, I keep dreaming of my ex. It hurts. Why? Um... We have dreams of people for a couple of different reasons, and I'm going to give you a couple of them, and hopefully this will be very, very helpful for you and anybody else that is um, listening, Maria. Number one reason we dream of our ex is because we have unresolved feelings, hurt, pain from the relationship. So I'm going to clear, heal, release any unres anything that has not healed from your ex or the relationship. Let's heal, clear, release that and pull it all out. Um, and for anybody listening that is in that situation where we have unresolved um, pain or feelings, from the relationship or the ex or what happened, let's just pull all that out, clear it, heal it, release it. That's the first reason because when we sleep, we heal and our subconscious mind releases things that have not yet healed so that we can heal it. The second reason is because they're also dreaming of us or thinking of us. 
it's just natural. Um, we're all connected by energy. So when someone is thinking about us, it's natural that that we may have that if we had that connection, that it might still be there. And we can pick up on their feelings and or thoughts or dreams. I think it's more the first reason. But if you want to disconnect from your ex, if you want to make sure all your energy is just disconnected, so it doesn't happen any longer um just ask your team to come in and cut <clears throat> and heal oh <clears throat> wow cut and heal any cords connections between the two of you so you can both move on in a very healthy and happy way i know it can be devastating when we go through a breakup and then we we dream about somebody and then we wake up and um and it it just feels the pain the pain is there all over again so i'm so sorry sweetie i'm really sorry um for that lots i am amy may amy wants to know will kristen and mike get back together no as of right now amy no it's not going to happen. One of them is really stubborn and the other one's really hurt. I don't know who's stubborn. And maybe the person who's hurt is stubborn. Um, but I will tell you this. One of them is very stubborn and the other one is really hurt. And as of right now, it, I just hear this statement. It is what it is. And that, that's not, um, I'm sorry for that, Amy. Um, you know, it, it, it sometimes, and then what I'm hearing second is sometimes an apology just isn't enough. There has to be a lot of changed behaviors and actions. And then the next thing I'm hearing is once I don't know why I'm hearing this, Amy, but like that, the how could I, I could forgive, but I couldn't, I don't know if I could go on thinking it wouldn't happen again. I hope all of that makes sense, Amy. I'm so sorry that, I, I hope it makes sense, okay? Okay, hi, uh, this is from Patricia. Should I start creating digital products, PDF, audio, et cetera, that solves groups of people's problems. Absolutely, Patricia, absolutely. Would create income money sources for me, been applying to jobs, I'm being passed over. Yeah, um, the job market is very, very difficult right now. Patricia, absolutely start doing that. It, it, there's, It's part of your calling is what I'm hearing. So go ahead and start that. You will have absolutely no regrets. Um, keep looking for a job, but uh, start that now. Um, <clears throat> Angie wants to know, um, will I be in a relationship this year? Thank you, Angie. Will Angie be in a relationship this year? Will Angie have a partner this year? Yes. Will Angie have a love partner this year? Yes. I the, it's there it's so weird like sometimes I'll ask a question and I know what I mean but I have to ask it differently. Thank you so much and have an amazing weekend everybody.